What's going on, guys? So, um, you know, one of the things people sort of ask me is, what do you think are some of your keys to success? And I was really thinking about it. And this may be, you know, as the kids say, pre preface things with unpopular opinion. But I, I think um, learning when to quit and learning, you know, I don't want to say to be a quitter because that, that sort of has a negative connotation. But really understanding how to quit and not necessarily jobs, but just things in your life, right? There's always good and bad things that you have to give up. And we're going to be talking about how to, not necessarily how to do that, but understanding why it's okay and why I found that that for me personally has helped make me successful. I'd like to take a minute to thank our sponsor, TemplateMonster.com. They have a new product called One, which you can check out at one.templatemonster.com, which covers over 8,500 items you can get for a single monthly fee to pretty much cover anything you're gonna need for your small business or website. You can see here, you get access to all the templates, plugins, graphics, unlimited installs, of course, support, updates, and you also get a two week money back guarantee. So check it out at one.templatemonster.com. So I briefly talked about this in some sort of video um, where, oh yeah, the um, the Dev Mountain Quality Assurance Coding Bootcamp, I had to drop it and I was planning on going back, but then they discontinued their online program. And I got a you know couple paragraph uh, comment from a subscriber saying, you know, I basically, I think it was in good intentions, but just basically saying that I quit things a lot and that at the end of the day, it is a bad characteristic and that I try and justify it and all that sort of stuff. To my response is that if I have justified reasons to quit things, then it is justified to quit. So I think <laughs> I think uh, at the end of the day, and this isn't really a video necessarily about him, but I think it's important to mention it because at least in American society, when you are labeled a quitter, at the end of the day, it's not a good thing. But the best thing you can do is learn when to cut your losses and have a plan on how to proceed. And so that oftentimes involves clearing up your schedule. That involves you dropping something in exchange for something else. So I'll give you great examples of how I've been successful quitting things and how I've been able to sort of um, make it one of my keys to success, really. And I, I think it's still going to continue to be. So what what does the ability to quit give you? It gives you drop in one thing and then you have excess amount of resources. Now, um, in my case, what makes a good quitter from a bad quitter, and I, you don't really want to label, label yourself as a quitter, but I think it's important to say, I'm okay quitting things. And the reason for that is because I know that by dropping this, I'm going to be more successful with this. And what that also gives you is flexibility. So being able to quit things and be able to drop things lets you try out things. And so one of the things that a lot of junior developers suffer with is sort of this over analysis paralysis where they don't they want things to be perfect. They want things to just be, um, you know, mapped out and just like we figured out everything. Nothing could possibly go wrong. But the reality of the world is something will always go wrong and you're going to need to be able to handle that. And that's, you know. If you go into things and you say, look, man, I did, I, I used up all my energy prepping for something uh, and it ended up being something I, I didn't and I, I didn't think it was going to be. And I'm drained by the time you just get started. You're setting yourself up for failure. So what is what one way to tackle life, tackle your sort of goals in life. And one way that I have gone about it is I don't go into things necessarily totally prepared. Um, and what I mean by that is if there's something that piques my interest, if there's something that that I want to learn more about, I, I spend a little bit of time, a day or two, and then I make a decision if I'm going to pursue it or not. And a lot of times, maybe that means I'm a little less prepared than other people. And I'm OK with that because most of the time and no matter what what experiences you're doing in life, you're going to be diving 
headfirst into it, and it's never going to be what you thought it was going to be. You know, maybe you went into um, front end development and you got your first look, first junior level role. It's probably nothing like you envisioned it was going to be. No matter how great of a mentor you had, maybe you um, joined a basketball league and you you know playing that it wasn't quite what you lived up to expectations. So when you save your energy for the actual activity, learn about it. You 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 are more likely to succeed in it in my experience now everyone's different right this is a good example of how like some people are good in college and structured environment and some people are not so what i have been able to do by being okay with dropping things which is more so how i like to think about it is like i'm dropping one thing and picking something else up and i think that's another great trait you have to have if you're going to sort of take this approach with life and learning and whatever else you're doing is if you drop something, it's only to pick something else up and continue your growth in a different direction, different path, whatever it is. You know, where the bad connotation with quitter comes from is you have these people who'd be losers no matter what, and they drop something and then they just go home and they smoke weed and play um, Fortnite or Apex Legends, whatever the kids are playing nowadays. Definitely not League of Legends because that's what all us cool cats do. <laughs> um, but, uh, Cool cats. That's, 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 I feel old. <laughs> my my point is this: is that you know um, Joe Rogan on his podcast is very pro um, pro marijuana, and one of well, I remember a podcast uh, a while back where you know a lot of people's arguments is it makes people lazy, and his response to that is like those people were always going to be losers and now they just have a scapegoat and that's sort of what i feel like when it comes to quitting things is that oftentimes you have people who are going to drop things and not pick other things up and so by and large you don't want people to drop things because they never may never pick things up but if you're honest with yourself and you have a game plan you can go and be very successful because now you've given yourself the ability to try different things. You've given yourself the ability to say, hey, I'm going to devote two months to this, three months to this. Or, you know, you don't even, for, in my case, I don't really put a time range on it. I, I do things until I don't want to do them anymore or they they gave me the value or I reevaluate and I said, I'm not getting the value out of this that I thought I was going to get or my life situation has changed and I'm going to go and reevaluate and say, okay, you know what? I can't do this coding boot camp because I just got a new job. Great. I'm going to put that on hold. I'm going to come back a couple months later. It's like, okay, um, I'm miserable in college and I need a, I can't, I can't do it anymore. How can I be successful elsewhere? Okay. Well, you know, find an internship first, then go about this. It's like, okay, well, um, I, uh, it's been a while since this happened, but <laughs> but I am uh, I'm sick of being out of shape, and I want a six pack. And so you go, okay, well um, I'm gonna give up gaming. I'm gonna hit the gym two hours a day. Um, so that's how long ago that was. <laughs> April April on her phone. I swear, guys, this is a true story. I'll share this with you guys. April on her phone. April and I've been dating about nine years. A has a photo of me for the first year we've been dating. Where you know, back when I was like. I was, I was in good shape and I had like six pack and I'm uh, tan and not like pale and, and, uh, <laughs> and just, uh, I, I, I'm not rocking the dev bot is what I'm trying to say. So, um, she has a photo on her phone when I call her that she shows her friends of me when I'm like 21, I'm 31 now, uh, <laughs> showing, showing people of me with my shirt off, just like looking, looking solid. All right. Look, good looking man. Um, you know, I'm, I, nowadays I'm like a fine wine. I've, I've only been getting better with age, but in a much more uh, different path. Uh, so my, my point is this, is that I would encourage you to be okay quitting. And the reason for it is because a lot of people are so uncomfortable starting things that it becomes a lot easier when you're okay saying, you know, I'm going to start this. It doesn't work out. Cool. I'm going to move on to the next thing. And to me personally, that has been one of my greatest strengths and one of my greatest keys to success is willing to try things because I know that I'm not going to feel guilty giving it up or I'm not going to have to finish it uh, no matter how little value it's providing, no matter how bad of a situation I'm in because I say, okay, well, I tried it. It didn't work. What's the next thing I'm going to try? Now, it's of course important to finish things. I'm not saying that you should quit everything that you should drop everything but i am i am going to tell you that it's okay and it, 
as long as you have a, a game plan, as long as you as long as you have something that you're you're in drop one thing, pick something else up, and you understand what it is you're leaving behind and what it is you're trying to get, I think it's okay. And so that's my my sort of stance with quitting, and that's one of my sort of keys to success. And you see this a lot with startups where they start at one thing and they realize it's not gonna work and they pivot to something else. That's all we're talking about here. So you know, in his in his comment, it was like, "Well, I see that you leave a job after they probably start expecting you to be working." You think I've been working for a year and they haven't been expecting anything out of me? No. Um, you know, most most companies throw you right into the uh, to the heat of things. My my uh, first week on the job, they said, "Hey, you know anything about service workers, clients like caching, web manifests, and progressive web apps?" I said, "No." They're like, "Cool, we need you to do all of that." Okay, <laughs> I'll figure it out. And no, but, and I did, right? So um, in that sense, if you're working at a company that doesn't expect anything out of you for a year, you probably don't work at a very good company and you're probably not gonna learn very much. Um, but that's not that's not really what this video is about. But um, with that being said, guys, I encourage you to quit things that aren't working for you in your life. There's a lot of negative things in life that aren't working for you. You need to quit smoking, maybe. Maybe you need to quit that, that negative relationship, but you've already put five years into it. And you're like, thinking, oh, man, I don't want to restart. But these are all things that are okay quitting. And maybe you're in something. In my case, college was the best thing I ever quit. I quit it two times. I miss I miss I miss quitting it so much. I went back and I had to quit it one more time. All right. So, um, you know, with with that being said, guys, uh, evaluate carefully before you make a choice that is going to change your learning path, change your career, change your future. But when you drop something, have something ready to pick it up and fill that void and continue your growth in whatever direction you're looking for. But uh, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe and share. And definitely don't quit this channel. Hit that notification bell. Courses in the description below. See you next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my 100 algorithm challenge course. Get you prepped for those technical interviews to make sure you get nice offers. I, I actually just added some new content to it so you can get prepared for those technical phone screens as well. There's a link in the description to get it for just $9.99.